Hey, we were leveling up our attributes pregame, and we actually hit 65 overall. Uh, it says, we've unlocked the Harden Badge, now play through fatigue and injury without experiencing a severe drop in skill. The Spark Plug Badge, now making a big play when coming off the bench or following timeouts will energize teammates. Pro level dribbling, shooting, dunking, and flashy pass animations. I don't actually know how to get those, but we'll have to check that out pretty soon because I definitely want to try and get some animations, depending on how expensive they are VC-wise. And we also have pre-game rituals. We'll have to look into those too. Just some pretty cool stuff to customize my character a bit. Um, and obviously Swag Shop, we read this last time, Swag Shop now is expanded, so there's more options and more cool stuff for us to buy uh, and more shoes at the Foot Locker place as well. But that's awesome, man. You can see we're now up to 65 overall, which is a pretty cool accomplishment. I'm definitely proud of the five overall levels we managed to obtain so far through our first season. Hey, everybody. Ernie Johnson welcoming you to the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm joined by the Diesel. Shaquille O'Neal, and the Jet, Kenny Smith. Tonight, it'll be the Philadelphia 76ers going up against the Utah Jazz. And for Utah, they've played well of late, winning five of their last six games. Tonight, an opportunity to continue that trend. Not tonight. Tonight, a chance to check out DJ and see what he can do on the floor. Guys, I'm so we glad they the talk about us every game now, dude. It's so he got hype. the nickname DJ. With that said, what do you think of it? Well, I'm the expert analyst on nicknames since I've had close to 30 in my lifetime. I grade his nickname to be a B plus. What kept it from being an A minus? He, he needs a little more flavor. All right, Kenny. Well, not a, all nicknames have to be flashy, but he's the disc jockey. He's the one in control. So that's why I called him the DJ because he's the one in control of all the music and he gets the party started right. Oh, my God. Get that party started right, Shaq. Get it right. He's the DJ. Hey, DJ's in the house. What a pregame show, dude. I actually kind of like that one. No nonsense, no AMBFA. What are you going to do out there, Shaq? Huh? Huh? What are you going to do? He ain't doing that, and I can show you better than I can teach you, young. You just wait. You ain't going to do nothing out there tonight, Shaq. Oh, I ain't going to do nothing. Keep talking. You already know my game don't lie. Hey, wait. You what? got some, you got something right there. Well, we're here. Oh, wait. That's just your foot in your mouth. Oh! Ah, got it. Look at Robert so Covington boring. in yeah, the back. Yeah, whatever. You just mad because I'm gonna have you. Even Covington silly. was like, what? "You gonna take that?" Nah, man. I'm gonna be watching my boy DJ. DJ, what? You got jokes, man. Watch what I do out there. Hey, DJ. Hey, hey. Put some respect man, whatever, on my name. Hey, all right, little Judge. You gonna see, man. You gonna see. All right. Don't let him man. talk to you like that. Put some respect on his name, Birdman. <laughs> He was trying to keep up. All right, I'm ready. All right, obviously we put up 46 against the Dubs a couple weeks or a couple games ago. I want to do that again. We need to do that. Uh, we need to have a 50-point performance. I don't know if it's coming today, but we need our first 50-point performance or a triple-double. 50 points or a triple-double, I'll consider a win. Start out strong. All right, one for one, not bad. We'll take that. Ricky Rubio, they got this man's hair all types of wrong. Rebound. Uh, give it to Marco. Dude, the triple double might be today. We got a well-rounded stat line already. Us on Derek Favors is a mismatch. This is this is bad news. All right, he took the turnaround. That's actually, he bailed us out there by not just taking it straight at us. We lost it. Oh, I tried to pass it. Oh, I made a mistake. I went too far in. All right, we got to stop shooting. We got to get back into our playmaking role. We'll take this mismatch, though. We got to take it. If, if Ricky Rubio is going to be on us, then we got to take him. But we're going to make more plays. Don't worry. Give it to him. Oh, my goodness. Joel can't shoot. I'm giving him wide open dimes in the paint, and he's not putting them in. He could dunk it every time. I don't know what he's doing. No way. Joe Ingles with the step back three. Who does he think he is? Take it, Dart. No, that's... 
that's such a bad shot. When we're on the fast break, why are we pulling up at the free throw line? Like, that's a Russell Westbrook type move. Dario Sharich should not be pulling up on it. Like, just take it to the rim. You're 6'9", and you're stronger than whoever was defending back there. This is trouble with the rebound. Oh, Rudy Gobert, man. All right, we're all right, we're all right. Markel, you need to calm down. Me and Markel both need to stop shooting. We need to get some production in the paint. I'm open, though. I'm going to pull it. There's only a two-pointer. Oh, come on. Pretty even matchup between myself and Rodney Hood. He's got a more efficient eight points, but we both got eight points. Take it. Yes, I'm out. No, go! What was I doing? And one. Oh, how did we... Like, we got the fast break, but that could have potentially been a dunk. I pressed A calling for the ball, but it registered late after he passed it, so I, like, pump faked the pass. Yes. Covington. Oh, we got stripped. No. All right, we're still down eight, man. We need to make something happen here. We need to go on a run. Go in. Thank you. I'm mad that we're not behind the three-point line. I keep lining up like a half a foot in front of it, so we're only getting two pointers for those. We can't, we can't make up any ground because we just don't make the right decisions. Gotta be aggressive. We might actually have to take this game over on our own. That was a lucky free throw. That was not a good release. Give it to him! Oh, if he ruined that, if he got blocked, I would have been very upset with that. But good work, Dario. That was good, D. Get there. He got it! Dude, Markel is a monster! We got to reward that with a point somehow. Oh, dude, Markel with the hustle play. I'm so sad that we couldn't do anything with that. A great rebound by Joel, but... How did he save that? That should have been the play. That's like the Gatorade hustle play or whatever the hell it's called. That's That's got to be the best play of the game. No, oh, he missed the layup. Dude, we are we are a bad basketball team. We we don't make good things happen on the floor. Either way, half number one, not terrible. It's a uh, it's a four point game. We got subbed in with a ten point game, so we made up six points. We'll be fine. Take it. Yes, take it. Take it. Dunk it. Oh, all right. Dude, I'm getting much better at steals. That was a really awkward, clumsy steal because it was like me and three guys fighting per, for possession of it. But we took it coast to coast. Give it to him. Covington for three. Yes. Three ball. Roko, 33. Yes, we're missing. We're getting rebounds now. This is going to be our breakout half. Gave it to the rolling Dario. Couldn't finish the, the play, but that's okay. Make your free throws, Dario. Nothing more frustrating than your teammates missing every free throw. It's okay, though. That was us for, like, the first eight games of the season. We couldn't make a single one. Dude, Favors is just trying to take this game over, man. Again, wide open. We should just be dishing to three-point shooters. If only we could make them.
All day, man. We are on right now. Oh, we're on fire, dude. Hell yeah. Give me that. Oh, he got it back. Oh, man. I thought that was a steal. We could have potentially grabbed a dunk there. I don't know. Why is the thing under my character, like, green now? Is that a badge? Are we, like... Is that, like, spark plug or whatever? Wait, I think this is where we can utilize spark plug. Because this is a timeout. So, coming out of a timeout... If we make a play here, we like energize our teammates or something. I think I think that's what that means. So we need to do something big here. I don't know if it's does like an assist count. Oh, we lost the ball. Wow. Well, that didn't work. They're gonna leave me the lane. I'm gonna take it. What was that? I was trying. Like I was hoping Gobert would. Uh, I was hoping Gobert would rotate to me so I could get the assist to Embiid. But he stayed with Joel. Like, they literally just gave me a free layup there. And one. Oh. All right, we're getting less free throws this game. I think it's we're a little less aggressive. We've been settling more for outside jump shots today. But we should... We should probably try to attack the rim a little bit more. Either way, we're up to 25 points. Yes, we got the rebound. Uh, give it to Covington. Go ahead, Rocco. Oh, you got to make those. Every time we have a chance to make a run, our players miss wide open shots. Covington's a shooter, too. Like, that's what he does. Oh, spin move. And one. Yes, dude. Did you see that spin? It was the slowest spin I've ever seen, but it was still effective. Rodney Hood got lost. And we converted the and one. Dude, we're having a great game. Give me it. Yes. Uh, oh, I thought he was going to cut. Got the lane again, and the and the foul. Not the end one. Dude, we got 28, 5 points, 3 assists, and 3 steals. And we haven't missed a free throw yet. I just jinxed myself. This is 100% not going in. Oh, no, we're good. Dude, are we 7 for 7 from the free throw line? I think we are. It says 100% at the top. I just don't remember exactly how many it's been. Come on. Get some extra stats here at the end. Good work, Joel. 35 5 and 3 steals. If only we could get more blocks. We were a little taller. We could go for that 5 5 5 5 5 game. 5 points, 5 boards, 5 assists, 5 steals, 5 blocks. Get up and run. Get up and run. Run the floor, Joel. I'll reward you. Yes! He made it. 33-6-6. Six six. That might be it for us, though. The Jazz shouldn't have called timeout there, but whatever. That's a pretty good stat line. I'm happy with that if we come out here. I hope we stay in, but I'm actually okay with 33-6-6. Six six. We'll definitely be player of the game, right? You, like you got to be. Yeah, no, we are. All right, cool. So we got player of the game. Three games get running now, man. And we're still in. We got a chance to improve upon our stats a little bit more. Cash. Yes, Covington. Good work. Things are just falling for us today, man. It's been an amazing day. Lead the game in total free throws made. That's actually a cool accolade. I didn't know that we, that we did that. But 113 to 88. We are blowing teams out lately, man. We beat the Lakers by 36. The Warriors by like 25. Another 25 point win today. Uh, they, our catch and shoot should level up here, right? We should get the catch and shoot badge, I think. Yeah, there it is. 
We got the catch and shoot badge, almost the defensive stopper badge as well. I'm really happy with our performance lately. We've been doing so much, uh, so much good stuff out there on the floor, and we are dang 75% to our next level up, up to 19 points a game. We just passed 100k fans too. Did you see that? We got 100,000 fans. DJ, great game. Thanks, Char. Am I blowing up? <laughs> You're trending. Oh. Hey, we need to go do an interview with the guys in the studio. All yes, right. another one. Let's get it, man. Dude, the interviews with uh, EJ, Kenny, and Shaq are so much fun. This is my third one in a row, too. My player of the game status is insane. The 2K Sports Post Game Show. Welcome back. This is Ernie Johnson along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. Time now to catch up with our special post game guest. Hey, it's Kenny. Just another superb showing from you. Now, what's been the major key to keep producing at such a high level? Uh, do my thing. I've been watching film and learning where I can improve. We'll go. We'll go with that one today. Kenny, you know, I think it's just been watching film and, and uh, learning where I can be better at each game. And I think it's important not to feel satisfied with your game. And as long as you improve and keep adding to your skill set, it'll work out. And, uh, you know, I'm glad that I put a lot of work into this team and it's, it's made it more dangerous as a result. Well, they don't want you to win, and you won. Major key. <laughs> DJ Buckets, boys. And thank you for tuning in to the NBA on 2K Sports. For Kenny Smith, Shaquille O'Neal, Kevin Harlan, and the entire 2K Sports crew. Is he trying to be Rocky? Rocky? What is we'll he doing? See you next time, and the time after that, too. Dude, we might be MVP. Forget about Rookie of the Year. We legitimately might be an MVP candidate. I like how we're the only one left in the locker room because we had to go do the interview. So everyone else is already out. Hey, something on the phone. Is it Under Armour? Yes. Got the Under Armour rep at my office. Get over here quick. Finally, the moment we've all been waiting for. All right, we went to our apartment and we got our uh, mainstream news t-shirt on for that endorsement deal Brian was talking about. Looks like this guy over here is at the same part of his My Career playthrough because he's got the t-shirt on with us. KJ, KJ Lucina balling out with us. He's a 76 overall. We ain't got shit on him. But let's see what the Under Armour rep has uh, has for us. I'm excited for this. We've been waiting for this for like five episodes now. Hopefully, we get a good offer here from the Under Armour rep. Yo, DJ, we've been waiting for you, man. Yeah, Brian I'm sweating sorry. bullets, I'm yo. So, I'm sorry I'm late. Spinelli was telling me his old... Dorman stories of working for the queen or whatever. I feel that. Those was good times, you know what I'm saying? But you ain't got to apologize to me, man. I ain't got nothing else to do unless you want me to go in there, play some hardball. No. You know what I'm saying? Negotiate. No. Get the dollar signs up. You feel me? Please give me I the option. I see it on TV. Give them the squints. You know what I'm saying? And never back down. You with it? No. No. Ask her to wait outside. B, you know what? Why don't you chill out here? All right? Brian likes to keep things real professional. Come and on. And there's a reason why he's on payroll. You sure? Yes. Yeah, I'm sure. I'm a secret weapon. I can close the deal. No. I'll fill you in after, all right? All right, holler at me. Stay up. Your company's roster's bonkers. DJ so Hey, excited. everybody. Look, sorry I'm late. Speaking of the Julie, devil, sorry. here's the man of the hour. Yeah, man, what's up? Where, where are you? They're going to walk out. It's a long walk, man. Let's do this. All right. So glad you took the time out to meet oh, no, with us. Thank you. I promise you it will be well worth it. Hey, nice to meet you, bro. In the end, you will strongly consider signing with hey. Under Armour. <sighs> Got a good feeling about it. Look, DJ, I just want to say we are super excited about the prospect of signing you. We already have some of the greatest up-and-coming athletes in the world on our team. Stephen Curry, right, just to right. throw one out there. Not to mention, we have MVP winners in baseball and football, plus the very best in tennis and golf. Our brand is about creating product that will help you take your game as far as it can go. Right, well, how do we ensure that DJ remains a top priority at this company if he does sign? Because, you know, we don't want him to get lost in the shuffle of all the other faces. Totally, absolutely understandable. Look, at Under Armour, we know and embrace the fact that we work for you and not the other way around. See, I like that. I like DJ, that. DJ, we will do whatever it takes to make sure you feel like a top priority. Ooh. I don't know what our competitors are offering you, but on the cash side of our deal, I can guarantee you we are willing to go higher than any of them. Now, that's what I'm talking yeah, about. Whoa, my leg Sign fell asleep Sign on the here. dotted line. Yeah, right, now, you right. want to you wanna understand that what he means to say is that we are looking at a lot of offers here, and we would really be excited to see what you guys have to offer. Right? Okay, okay. When can that happen? 
I can send an offer over in the next few days. Yeah. Remember, you're getting paid to wear our gear both in NBA games and when you're just playing out on the streets. That's perfect. Cool. Sound good? Yeah, I would love that. Amazing. All right. Well, uh, we'll be in touch. You. Yeah, yeah. Have thank a great you for your day. Time. Nice to meet you, you, man. Thank you for your time. So, Hear from you. Yep. Thank you. Woo. Hey, woo. Hey, one, Brian. So some good the things one. there, right? First of all, they offered us to match or give us more VC than anyone else is, which is important because with a no microtransaction playthrough when I'm not buying, you know, VC, having the most possible VC per game is important. So that's good. Plus we balled out in the Curry 3s. I actually really, that was the most basic pitch. Obviously they got nothing but Steph Curry to offer us in terms of like a sales pitch for, for big names in the NBA. But first of all, I think it'd be cool. There's probably some storyline with Steph Curry. If you sign with Under Armour, like you and him probably become friends based on the way this whole thing has gone. I don't know though, man. Like, Nike and Jordan are definitely the best options. But depending on how much, if they give me more than 115 VC per game, I am no doubt going with Under Armour. We'll try to negotiate. I don't know, man. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section down below what you think. We've seen the pitch from all four different companies now. And I, I don't know. It's hard to say no to Nike. But I think if, depending on Under Armour's deal, I think that may be the way we honestly go. But either way, let me know what you think. What would you do if you were in my position? Or if you have a 2K My Career as well, what do you guys do? What did you do when you got to this point? Which, which company did you end up signing with? Thank you so much for watching. Make sure, as always, you click the like button if you enjoyed the video. We're trying to get 50 likes on today's video. Check out that billboard up there. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on so that you'll be the first one to check out all future episodes. If you did make it this far into the video and you are a real one who watched the entire thing, go ahead and comment Brava Hype somewhere in your comment. Rob Hype is the comment of the day. Again, thank you so much for watching. As always, my name is Brobson, and I hope to see you in the next video.